Hi guys, so today we're going to make some homemade Hawaiian rolls. You will need some pineapple juice. I'm using the juice from a can of pineapples. Some sugar, butter, one egg, some yeast, a little bit of milk, some flour, all purpose, some salt, and a little bit of vanilla. Okay, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your butter and put it in a little saucepan. And then you're going to go ahead and add your milk, your sugar, your pineapple juice, and I guess that's it. <laughs> so we're not going to bring this to a boil. We're just going to heat this up until the sugar is dissolved and the butter is melted. You don't want this to get super hot because um, then you're just going to kill the yeast. You want this to be warm. Next, you're going to go ahead and pour it in a big bowl. You can see a little bit of steam, so I let it sit for a few minutes until it was warm. You want to be able to touch it. Next, you're going to go ahead and take your yeast and add it to the bowl. You're not going to mix it in really well. I'm just doing it to make sure it's um, like nice and wet, all the yeast is covered. And you're gonna let this sit for about 10 minutes. Now our yeast is active, it's nice and foamy. So you're gonna mix that in, you're gonna go ahead and add your egg and your vanilla. I'm gonna give that a good mix. And then you're going to add in half of your flour. Mix that in. And then add the rest of your flour. And you're going to go ahead and mix that in. And what you're going to end up with is you're going to end up with a really sticky, sticky dough. So now you're going to take a clean bowl and spray it with a little bit of non-stick cooking spray and you're going to put the dough in the bowl and you're going to cover this bowl with a clean towel and sit it in your oven. Don't turn your oven on. You're going to sit it in your oven so it can rise and we're going to sit it in there for about 15 minutes. So now we're going to take the dough on our floured surface and we're going to knead the dough. We're not going to really, really knead it too hard, but um, I guess like lightly knead the dough. Even though it looks like I'm doing it really hard, I promise I'm not. We're going to do this for about two minutes. Don't be afraid to add a little bit of flour if you need to. So now I'm taking my um, 9 by 13 baking dish and I'm spraying it with a little bit of non-stick cooking spray. I'm going to cut my dough in half and then I'm going to cut each half into 6 pieces. You should end up with 12 rolls. Now to shape the rolls, you're just making a ball. That's basically all you're doing. Um, kind of turn the dough in on itself. I don't know how to say it, but all you're doing is making this, the, the, the top of it nice and smooth and the bottom is okay because that's the bottom and it's, you're not gonna see the bottom, but yeah. So guys, you wanna go ahead and um, put this somewhere to rise. You wanna cover it with a clean towel and put it to rise for about 20 minutes. And then you're going to bake it at 400 degrees for about 8 to 12 minutes. Now 
Now after you get it out of the oven, you want to go ahead and hit it with a little bit of melted butter. Or it doesn't have to be a little bit, it can be a, a generous amount of melted butter. I was so surprised at these rolls, you guys. They came out so well. You guys should really give this recipe a try. Mm, mm, mm. Nice and soft. They were just so good, you guys.